tree and shrub drench. We are deep into how plants operate, but uh, if you've got insects, especially on, uh, let's say, pinion pine scale, bark beetle, ips beetle, flathead borer, things that are eating, tip borers, things that are eating plants from the inside out, rose cane borers, he's got the name borer, probably that's it. Uh, this is the product. It's a drench. That is, you mix it up in a watering can or a five-gallon bucket. You don't apply it on the foliage, per se. You're putting it right at the trunk, right where the crown meets the soil. You pour it right there. In fact, when I'm treating my ponderosa pines for bark beetle, that bark beetle will kill your pine trees if you're not careful. So I treat my pines with this every year just as a preventative. So I'll actually pour it on the trunk where the bark is. I'll let it kind of flow down the bark and I let it pool right at the base of that where that trunk meets the meets the soil. The roots there will actually absorb that underneath the bark layer, the cambium layer, underneath that, that fresh wood, underneath the bark. That's what the borers are going after. This will actually absorb. It goes up the tree, up through the canopy of that tree, underneath the bark where all those bugs are active. It, it also creates a halo, a kind of a, a preventative effect. They aren't going to burrow through the bark to get to this because it kills them off. One application lasts for an entire year. You do not need to be an arborist to use this stuff. Very easy and very, very effective and long lasting. So if I've got pine trees, I always treat my pines. Roses, if you want thrips, thr uh, those first flowers that form that get uh, bugs inside them that eat, it looks like someone took a big lighter to it. Uh, this, this takes it right out. And so tree and shrub drench, I think we need to use this more often to keep those problematic insects out of your trees and shrubs. That's how you use tree and shrub drench here at Waters Garden Center.